Hey, and welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Robert. This is the first video, hopefully many. Um, most of y'all know me either because of the pickup truck over there. Um, if not, it's because of Cletus' old jet car. Um, I managed to get a hold of that. It's just a shell. I mean, it's, it's a body. It's nothing more than a body. So the plan is we are going to build that into strictly a burnout vehicle because I've been ripping this around. The problem is I will drive it to events, pop a set of tires, and drive it back. It's a lot of demand for something, and it will never be built to be as competitive as a lot of the other guys that are out there in the burnout scene. So we're going to try to get away from that and go to something that's way more ridiculous, and it's going to be strictly for trailering around. Once I ended up coming across... Uh, Cletus's original jet car, I was like, man, that would be a perfect shell, and it's basically a, a blank slate. You can do whatever you want. There are no limitations, so whatever motor you want to put in it, whatever transmission, it's it's blank. Do what you want, which I greatly appreciate having. Um, that being said, though, we'll hopefully put a whole bunch of that on here. You all get to see that build as it progresses. Um, I will probably have a whole bunch of content going together for when we take this out to events. I know that there's a Cletus and Cars coming up, there's a couple burnout events up north, and there's one here in about a week and a half, two weeks, at my local track that will probably, you know, have the first filmed video of what this thing does. That being said, um, I am not a YouTuber, I am not qualified to edit, I'm not qualified to do any of that stuff. My background is in you know mechanics building engines building transmissions you know mechanic stuff it's not videoing or anything else so do me a favor comment below what i can do better um if i'm doing something good let me know if i'm not doing something good let me know just it'll help me out it'll help y'all out if you want to keep watching this stuff um that being said right now for the first video just because i needed to get it done and actually get this moving to see how many people really wanted to watch this is um, I've just got a whole bunch of different clips that we're going to throw together. Um, I know the editing won't be there. If you have got tips and tricks on editing, please let me know. If you've got tips and tricks on um, just filming in general, let me know. A lot of this will be done on like my phone or a GoPro, so nothing fancy. Um, outside of that, here's just some simple clips and stuff. I think we're going to try to keep it 10 to 15 minutes for each upload and that's that's what we're gonna do i don't know if we're gonna make it once a month or if we're gonna make it once a week or just how much time i'm gonna actually have in the grand scheme of things but uh here are the clips from going and getting it and getting it to the shop hope y'all enjoy status update we have officially got the elko on the trailer much of an elko you want to call it uh with the help of jeremy and laz from fast proms and well this is the beginning of it, I guess. You can see where they stretch the wheelbase in the back. It's pretty interesting. And then there is literally nothing, so it's just like how I essentially did my truck. Um, lots of ghetto ratchet, ratchet straps. This, however, might be an issue. Yeah. I know the uh, the center trunk was coming apart, but uh, that looks like more than the center trunk. So, will we compete tonight? I don't know. We'll find out when we make it that far. So we got the police old El Camino, the jet El Camino. As you can see, it's already been notched in the back. The wheel has been slid back about eight inches. There is no floor, no interior. The door that was held in place by classic rack. Closely. That's Bob. Smiley face. It's all over the fender, the front door, it's on the tires, it's on the tailgate. And then if you look on the old, uh, yeah, hey, there, there's something going on over here. Oh, it gets better though. Here, go ahead. You don't need wheel Ooh. bearings. What are wheel bearings for? <laughs> it is Saturday morning. <laughs> And the status update is we have a U-Haul truck and then 
we have a trailer and a truck that doesn't work anymore so we're going to put the El Camino in the back of the U-Haul truck we are then going to take my piece of crap put it on the trailer put it behind the U-Haul and go to Birmingham Alabama so this will be interesting yeah this is definitely one of the dumber ideas I've done in my life but considering the circumstances this is where we're at I'm telling you y'all can't buy this level of entertainment whatsoever yeah I mean, I've been watching Nate try to use a mint rat for the past what 15 minutes now <laughs> I don't fucking know at this point in my life I wouldn't know how to use it either I'm not saying it's dumb but we rented a U-Haul we put the truck on the trailer we put the El Camino in the back of the U-Haul Nate is fixing to go help one of the guys out that helped us out and uh Oh boy. Yeah. I'm gonna trip back on, buddy. Yep, yeah, thanks for saving my bacon. Got it. We'll do it again. Oh yeah. Oh, and good morning. So, we are on day two, no, day three. Wow, this is getting horrible. Um, I ended up spending the night at a hotel because it's a 5K trailer and I know the truck weighs 7,200 pounds, so it's a little bit overloaded. Um, that being said, we're not going fast with it. Uh, it's the morning, we're fixing to get going. Gonna start just by going through and doing a loose pre-trip. It's what I've always done on everything of mine. You know, just simple stuff. Make sure the straps are t still tight. Air in the tires. Um, I'm surprised there's still oil coming out of that, but. All of the chains and stuff are still here. And the pin's in place. Everything's hooked up and let's go. The reasons why I want the flapper back is because whenever it rains, all of a sudden, all of the rainwater goes into the hood stack. The next thing you know, it's raining all kinds of crap. Yeah good times all right we are on the third tow vehicle and hopefully this is how it's gonna be till we get back to Alabama yeah Oof. so it is 11 o'clock on a Monday morning I have borrowed my buddy's truck from Roots and Rain Brent appreciate you if you all need work done uh, landscaping stuff like that he's the guy to hit up I've got my piece of crap all on the trailer his trailer not my trailer it's actually rated for this kind of stuff uh, we're finally moving back to Birmingham Alabama it's about time so status update uh, the truck finally made it back to Birmingham yeehaw that was a grand old time um, that being said we have now picked up a Dodge 11 and a half a.m. rear end of I believe an 03 2500 um, the mounts are a little bit different. Hopefully the leaf springs go in the same place. If not, uh, I've got a death wheel and a welder and we will weld the axle or the new pads onto it. Ship it. So, status update. We got ourselves a rear end. The truck has made it back. The El Camino is, let's see, wrong button, that button all the way over there but the biggest thing is we got ourselves an axle uh, this is the biggest baddest axle that you can buy for one of these things um, biggest thing that's going to change is the axle tubes are now four inch instead of three and a half inch they do taper down to a three and a half inch um, the actual differential it does have a 410 gear in it, but it also has the Dodge gear driven limited slip. So I think I'm gonna leave the 410s in it for now. It's already set up, ready to go. We'll just slap the uh, the axle cover on it and let it rip. Um, another issue, it still has the same lug pattern, but none of my hubs are gonna clear anything anymore. So I've either got to A, buy, different adapters which 
isn't going to fix that issue. Meaning that I will have to buy different burnout tires, wheels, whatever you want to call them. Or, um, I can go ahead and try to machine those things out. Because they're just aluminum, but I'm not sure how much more sauce these things are going to take with the, uh, the burnout competitions being as aggressive as they are. And then, of course, I'd have to worry about the wheels on the truck because they actually sit on an adapter which i don't think you can really see in there it sits back behind the wheel but they're machined specifically for the uh 11 and a half aam gm axles so what does that mean is going to happen i don't know so somehow we finally got to the point where we're moving the elko from the farm to the shop on yet another truck and trailer. The amount of trucks and trailers that this thing has been behind just to get it to the shop has been insane. Like, no lie. Um, as you can see, we finally got the El Camino to John's shop, who is casually walking away. He is over there behind the truck. Um, the cool part is we have a front clip for the El Camino. We have two doors and two bumpers, so it's basically a complete body. Um, we've got a lot to work on, dude, I don't care. And, uh, the plan, I believe, is to put a Duramax in it. So we're going to get a complete running and driving Duramax, and we will swap the whole chassis and driveline underneath it to hopefully have something different that's competitive still. Um... Other than that, though, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see, but for now, we finally got it to a shop, and we can start working on it. I think the first thing that we're going to do is bolt all the body panels together because they are just kind of setting there. Nothing is really bolted together at all. Um, yes, it's, it's very custom. The one thing I am proud of, though, is the tailgate works. So what, what truck truck owner lover doesn't have a functioning tailgate that's pretty cool um there's the rear bumper driver side door passenger side door front bumper and the front clips in the back of it or in the front of it duh i've got some of the moldings for it still over at the farm but we're not too worried about that there is officially no floor um there is a firewall though which might become an issue because when we do the chassis swaps, normally we use the full uh, donor dash, but we might not do that on this one because I don't know if there's going to be enough space from the A-pillars to fit the, uh, the 01 to 07 dash in there. So that's what I've got going on for right now. It's just, you know, moving the El Camino from Tampa, Florida up to Birmingham and then uh, everything that happened in the, uh, the process there, you know, we smoked the axle underneath that thing and... Uh, it, it made for good entertainment. So, like, share, subscribe. You know, let me know in the comments down below what I can do better and what else y'all would want to see more of. Uh, Instagram for the truck, the built C Max. Instagram for the El Camino is going to be skids underscore USA, uh, just like the YouTube name. And one of the things that I would like to do is get more of like the burnout builds, like do build breakdowns on what all other people are running their setups and you know some of the other events and things that we go to just so that we have a little bit more diversity into what content is provided to y'all but hope y'all will uh stay tuned for the next video and i'll catch you then Welcome.